What's going on guys, it's Toasty Gaming back with another Warframe guide and today I'm going to be going over the best helmet abilities in the game as well as where to farm them. I wanted to make this video with an emphasis on abilities that were easy to farm so if you're a new player or you're returning after a long hiatus you know exactly what frames you should be prioritizing for your helmet system. And without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, we're going to start with the best helmet ability for new players which is Rhino's Roar. This grants a faction damage buff to your weapons and your abilities, which is a significant DPS increase for you and your allies. Not only that, but Rhino is actually one of the easiest frames to farm in the game, and if you have the helmet system unlocked, you should definitely have a Rhino by now. But just in case you sold your Rhino, or for some reason you never farmed one, you can grab another copy down here from the Fossa Assassination. Just make sure you pick up the blueprint from the market for 25,000 credits. Alright guys, so our second ability is one that I feel like is super slept on, especially for new players, and that's Firewalker. The main benefit of this ability is that it gives you status immunity, so you don't have to run Prime Sure Footed, which is on pretty much every Warframe build on YouTube. If you're a new player, you're not even close to getting that mod. So this can be your mini Prime Sure Footed, so you can run around spamming your Ogress or whatever explosive weapon without knocking yourself over constantly. Not only that, this allows you to also escape some status effects from enemy Eximus units, which is nice as well. Similarly to Rhino, Neja is also super easy to acquire. All you need is to be in a clan and just research his blueprints from your Tenno lab. Alright guys, the third helmet ability I think you should be prioritizing as a newer player is Terrify. With a little bit of power strength, this can full strip the enemy's armor and send them running away, which is a little bit annoying sometimes. I know there's probably going to be someone in the comments talking about Hildren and Pillage. I understand that Pillage is an amazing ability, but you need to be max rank with Fortuna in order to farm the Toroids, even if you get her parts from the circuit. This is just going to take days or weeks for a newer player, and it's really just not feasible. Necros is also another frame that's very easy to farm in the early game. It's acquired from the Lephantis assassination over on Deimos. Just make sure you pick up his blueprint from the market for 25,000 credits. Alright, the fourth ability I want to showcase is Eclipse from Mirage. This is another damage buffing ability, but this is actually calculated differently than Roar, which is calculated as a faction damage buff in the game. And this one only affects your weapons. The thing with this ability is it's very finicky and it can be either stronger or weaker than Roar depending on the situation. If you're in a well lit room and you can constantly keep the damage buff up, this can be extremely powerful. But if you're just running through a map, not really paying attention, your damage buff can constantly be slipping on and off and it can be a little bit annoying. Mirage is acquired very easily through the Hidden Messages quest. For your sake, I just hope you haven't already sold her, because if you did complete the quest and you sold her in the past without feeding her to your helmet system, you're going to have to go farm her from Cephalon Samaris, which is pretty annoying. Alright guys, the fifth helmet ability you should be prioritizing as a newer player is Mag's Pole. This is one of the three grouping helmet abilities, and it's certainly the easiest ones to acquire. The other two frames being Nidus and Korra, which are two of the most notoriously annoying farms in the game. Even if you acquire Korra from the circuit, you still need a whole bunch of Kavat genetic codes, which is a pain to farm. Sadly, this ability is nerfed in its helmet system to have less range, so Korra's ensnare is probably better if you do have her, but like I said, she, her and Nidus are very annoying to farm, so you should be prioritizing Mag as a newer player. Mag can either be acquired as your starter frame when you first start Warframe, or you can farm her up from the Iliad assassination on Phobos. Just make sure you buy her blueprint from the market just like the other frames we discussed before. Another amazing helmet ability that's good in almost any situation is Dispensary. You drop down this little orange thing that will generate health, energy, or ammo for you depending on what you need in that situation. This is amazing and used on several different grinds in the game to keep up with your ammo or your energy economy. This is a side tip, but I feel like I don't see nearly as many people taking advantage of this as they should be. You guys should be crafting these Tendo Spectres and making a Protea one for sure. Your Protea Spectre will actually drop Dispensary for you, so you don't even have to actually subsume it on your frame if you don't want to. 
There is a downside, sadly, as Protea is the hardest frame to farm that I've showcased thus far. You get her main blueprint from the Deadlock Protocol quest, and then you get the rest of her parts from the Grand Void, which you can enter through those golden hands that you see on some Corpus tile sets. Now before I get into the last ability I think you guys should be prioritizing, I want to give a couple honorable mentions to some very strong Helmuth abilities that I omitted from this list because of how long it takes to grind out the frame that they actually come from. Sevagoth's Gloom is definitely one of the strongest abilities in the game. You can put a big AoE slow around yourself and it life steals off of enemies. This is strong on several different frames. The problem is this frame is an absolute nightmare to grind out. You have to farm him from Railjack missions, and they have like a 10% drop chance for each one of his parts. It's an absolute brutal farm. So I don't suggest going for this guy as a newer player. Kulerva was another frame that has an extremely strong Helmuth ability, but just a brutal grind behind him. Wrathful Advance gives you a whole bunch of melee crit chance. It can completely turn around pretty much any melee build that you're running. But the problem is this dude is locked behind Duveri. And not only do you have to farm Deviri to get him, it's only during certain spirals. So even if you want to farm him, sometimes you have to wait an hour for you to get into the spiral that you need to. Alright guys, last but not least, we have what's probably the strongest and most broken Helmuth ability in the whole game, which is Nourish. This ability is just ridiculous. It gives you an energy multiplier on all energy that you gain. It gives you viral damage on your weapons, so you don't have to mod for viral. You can do things like corrosive viral, toxin viral. You can make all kinds of new builds that you would never been able to make before. And not only that, you also get a viral explosion that comes off yourself and triggers viral on enemies when they're shooting you. This ability is just ridiculous. You can acquire Grendel through doing arbitration missions. This mission type is unlocked by completing every node on the star chart, except for a couple special ones like the Jordas Golem and the Mutalist Alad V Assassinate. This does mean, unfortunately, that it is going to take a while, especially if you haven't been doing much progress on the star chart, but it will definitely be worth it in the end. Once you've unlocked a mission type and ran it a few times to grab yourself some Vitus Essence, you want to go head over to the Arbiters of Hexes. I suggest instead of going to the relay, you guys come over here to your syndicate screen and click visit Arbiters of Hexes. I do this all the time just because I'm lazy and I hate running around the relay. I don't know why they don't let you just fast travel to the syndicates, but that's besides the point. Once you've gotten into the room, just talk to this guy on the left side and you can buy your Grendel locator parts. All right, guys, that wraps things up for the video. If you made it to the end, please like, subscribe, and drop a comment down below if there's any other abilities you think I should have added to the list. Have a good one.